Hello once again and welcome to another topic on technology for teaching and learning. Today we're going to discuss TIP. Technology Integration Planning TIP, is a model created for teachers as a guide that ensures the efficiency of integration of technology in education. TIP gives teachers a systematic way to identify and address challenges involved in integrating technology into teaching practices, Rob Lyer and During, 2013. Further, TIP model shows teachers how to establish a milieu in which technology can effectually enrich learning. In the earlier editions of TIP model, there were five to six phases to enable the teachers successfully integrate technology and in instruction. Phase 1, Analysis of Learning and Teaching Needs Step 1, Determine Relative Advantage Step 2, Assess Tech Pack Phase 2, Planning for Integration Step 3, Decide on Objectives, Assessments Step 4, Design Integration Strategies Step 5, Prepare Instructional Environment Phase 3, Post Instruction Analysis and Revisions Step 6, Analyze Result Step 7, Make Revisions Phase 1, Analysis of Learning and Teaching Needs Step 1, Determine Relative Advantage Focus, Will a Technology-Based Method Offer Relative Advantage? Heraclitus once said that nothing is permanent in this world except change. But, some people resist to change things that they used to doing because according to them they still able to deliver well using the old method even if there are new better approaches to achieve the tasks however, change may be acceptable if they would understand the advantages of the new method over the old one. This is seeing a relative advantage as mentioned by Everett Rogers, Diffusion of Innovation, 1995. Below are the measures to see relative advantage easier. 1. Compatibility methods consistent with their cultural values and beliefs and others adopted in the past. For example, teachers see using technology as compatible with views of being an updated teacher. 2. Complexity easy enough for them to learn and carry out on a frequent basis. Teachers who use technology-based methods fell no fear and find no difficulties in understanding and learning something new. 3. Treeability being able to try out a little before making final decision. Teachers have the courage to try using and applying technology-based methods than saying no to it outright. 4. Observability seeing others they respect or emulate using the new method successfully. Observation is one of the many ways to help teachers decide whether technology-based method will be helpful or not or if it is effective or not. At this phase, teachers do curriculum review and assessment of teaching methods then, they determine problems in instruction and find out which technology may helpful to remedy the problem. Summary of issues to address in step 1. 1. Are there any topics or curriculum objectives I have difficulty teaching? 2. Do any of these instructional problem areas have technology-based solution? 3. What is the relative advantage of the technology-based solutions? 4. Is the relative advantage sufficient to justify the effort involved? Step 2. Assess Tech Pack. Focus, what is my technological pedagogical content knowledge tech pack, teachers have to be proficient in content, pedagogy and technology before the day of instruction comes. The teacher has to spend time in understanding all components of knowledge to have a better and successful delivery of the lesson. Being knowledgeable of the content, pedagogy and technology will make the teacher confident in the entire process of teaching and learning. This tech pack helps to emphasize technology contribution to teaching. Summary of issues to address in step 2. 1. Do I have the mastery of the subject matter, both the content and its context? 2. Is the pedagogy I am planning to employ appropriate for the subject matter, my learners and technology? 3. Is the technology I am planning to use appropriate for the subject matter? pedagogy and technology. 4. Have I reviewed my pack? Phase 2, Planning for Integration. Step 3, Decide on Objectives, Assessments. Focus, 
How will I know students have learned? Teachers define the skills they want their students to possess upon learning the lesson and create ways to measure the authenticity of students' learning and how successful the activities have been carried out by them. The problems that have been identified in Phase 1 must be addressed successfully by defining observable and measurable outcomes. Then, teachers design activities or performance tasks to measure the outcomes. Teachers must remember that having more than the multiple choice is better to effectively see authentic learning among learners. Summary of issues to address in Step 3. 1. What kind of performances do I expect from students to show they learned? 2. What is the best way for me to assess students' learning progress and products? 3. Do the desired instruments exist or do I have to develop them? 4. What other methods could gauge success? For example observations, attitude, instruments. Step 4, Design Integration Strategies. Focus, what teaching strategies and activities will work best? Teachers decide on pedagogies and study its execution. In deciding on the instructional course of action, the characteristics of the topics and needs of the students are being taken into consideration whenever teachers create an institutional design for technology integration. With this, teachers make decision on 1. Institutional approaches Traditional or constructivist approach 2. Curriculum approaches Single subject approach or interdisciplinary approach 3. Grouping from individual to pair or group learning 4. Sequence must have acquired technology prerequisite skills to successfully learn from the resources. Summary of issues to address in Step 4. 1. Should instruction be directed, constructivist, or a combination of both? 2. Will the instruction be single subject or interdisciplinary? 3. Should activities be individual, paired, small group, large group, or whole class? 4. What strategies should I use to encourage females and minority students to integrally involved with the technologies? 5. What sequence of activities should I teach? 6. Have I built in demonstrations of the skills students will need to use both equipment and the specific software? 7. Have I allowed students enough time to get used to materials before beginning a graded activity? Step 5. Prepare instructional environment. Focus, are essential conditions in place to support teaching and learning? Teachers establish the educational environment to carry out effectively the plan of using technology in teaching and learning. With the support of International Society for Technology in Education ISTE, the teachers will be guided in setting the essential standards to unleash at its level best the potentials of technology tools and methods when used in teaching and learning. Teachers have to remember that integration of technology in education would only be successful if there is an adequate hardware, software, and technical support available. Summary Issues to Address in Step 5 1. What are the technological needs necessary to carry out the activities, for example computer, software, printer, etc.? 2. Is the supply of computers and copies of software enough to carry out the activities? 3. When and how long will the technology resources be needed? 4. Do I need to set the schedule for occupancy of laboratory or media center? 5. Will projection devices or large screens be needed for demonstrations? 6. Have I checked out the legalities of the uses of technology I want to make? 7. Have I looked into students' privacy and safety in carrying out the activities? 8. Have I considered the necessary provisions for students with physical disabilities a carrying out the activities? 9. Am I knowledgeable in troubleshooting if ever problems arise during the activity? 10. Have I set and tested everything that is needed before the students do the activity? 11. Do students already have the knowledge in using the technologies that they will be using for the activity? 12. Am I ready with a backup plan whenever the planned resources fail to work? Phase 3, Post-Instruction Analysis and Revisions 
Step 6, Analyze Results. Focus, what worked well? What could be improved? Teachers have to spend time reflecting and assessing themselves to determine whether the integration of technology and if all process in teaching and learning went on smoothly and have been successful in the delivery. Summary Issues to Address in Step 6 1. Was there a change in the behavior of the students upon learning the subject matter? 2. Were the students engaged in the instruction and tasks given? 3. Did the technological resources work well as expected? 4. Did the students work deeply and thoroughly in the teaching and learning environment? 5. Is the integration of technology in education, instructions, strategies, activities, assessments work well in the entire teaching and learning process? Step 7. Make revisions. Focus, should I make the revisions? After analyzing the results, it is important to determine the necessary areas, which need improvement for better execution of instruction with technology integration the next time around. Summary Issues to Address in Step 7 1. What pedagogy should I do to make the instruction more interesting and engaging? 2. What technology resources should I use next tome for better understanding of the lesson, stages of technology integration in teaching and learning? In every cycle, anything and everything begins with the first stage. Before a butterfly begins to spread its wings to fly, it passes through different stages from a tiny egg to a beautiful insect with wings. A teacher likewise passes through different stages of teaching from novice to proficient, to highly proficient, to distinguished or expert teacher. A teacher moves on from one stage to another based on his experiences, achievements, increased knowledge and skills, and developing characteristics. Same is true when it comes to technology integration, a teacher who is beginning to learn about technology may experiment on how technology can be integrated in instruction until he understands fully the appropriate use of technology in instruction. Beginning Stage Teachers still make use of chalkboards, textbooks, workbooks, handouts, worksheets in their instructions and activities despite the presence of the selected technologies and other resources that support student learning experience. Developing Stage Teachers plan, manage, and facilitate student understanding of technologies and other resources best suited to support specific learning experiences. Proficient Stage Teachers demonstrate and model effective use of a variety of existing and emerging technology-based resources to encourage students to engage in a range of learning experiences. Transformative Stage Teachers engage with students to explore and determine appropriate uses of existing and emerging technology-based resources so that students may effectively plan, manage, and evaluate their learning experiences. Beginning Stage Teachers research and discuss strategies students can use to promote knowledge construction and demonstrate creativity. They monitor safe, ethical, legal, and healthy use of technology and information resources. Developing Stage Teachers facilitate and guide students as they employ strategies to construct knowledge and promote creative thought, they model safe, ethical, legal and healthy use of technology and information resources and help students address threats to security of technologies, data, and information. Proficient Stage Teachers model creativity and knowledge construction and enable students to demonstrate creativity and innovation. Teachers advocate for and effectively instruct students in the safe, ethical, legal, and healthy use of technology and information resources including emerging policies and practices related to issues such as security, intellectual properly, and personal rights. Transformative stage. Teachers collaborate with and involve students as lead learners to engage in activities to promote creativity and innovation and explore complex issues. They engage students as active participants in the safe, ethical, legal, and healthy use of technology and information resources by encouraging them to establish policies and producers for its use and determining methods to address its misuse. Beginning Stage 
teachers use and modify the existing learning resources to redesign institutional and learning activities for students' learning. Developing Stage Teachers adapt or create instructional activities that allow students to collect and report information through a variety of products and formats. Techers develop and conduct formative and summative assessments to inform teaching and learning. Proficient Stage Teachers design and customize instructional activities in response to students' learning styles, preferences, and abilities, so that students develop questions, propose solutions, and elicit feedback on their learning. Teachers provide students with various opportunities to demonstrate skills and knowledge to adapt future teaching and learning opportunities. Transformative Stage Teachers collaborate with students to identify and develop personalized instructional activities that allow students to formulate, evaluate, and test hypotheses to address complete problems that address real-world local and global issues with their teachers, other students, and outside experts and share their information for real-world application. Teachers engage students in the development and analysis of various opportunities to demonstrate skills and knowledge to orient future teaching and learning opportunities toward areas necessary for greatest students. Beginning Stage Students use technology tools to research and collect information. Developing Stage Students use technology tools to collect information, synthesize, and create new information in projects guided by their teachers. They explore issues of individual interest related to their learning. Proficient Stage Students use technology in support of collecting and synthesizing information developing and demonstrating critical thinking, and solving authentic problems through the creation of projects they propose. Students use technology to plan, manage, and reflect on their own learning. Transformative Stage Students collaborate and communicate with their teachers, other students, and experts to select and use technology tools that align with learning preferences, styles, and content requirements in order to address real-world, complex problems with multiple answers or solutions. Students routinely monitor, evaluate, and adjust their own learning strategies and thinking. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And be sure to click the bell button to be notified. See you next time.